Hey there, I'm here to share some snippets from my life about how education has impacted me and my career. My name is Riley Neugebauer, and I work as a full-time solar installer and co-crew lead at Namaste Solar Electric in Boulder, Colorado. I'm originally from Western Pennsylvania, and my journey starts there because I was the first person in my family to go and get a bachelor's degree in environmental studies, which really opened my eyes to a lot of opportunities and a lot of inspiring ideas about how to change the world and have an impact. And so I'm really grateful for that. I had awesome professors that that really did alter the course of my life through their teaching and their care of us as students. I also had a grandmother who lived in the same town where I went to college, who used to remind me regularly that education was really important because it's one thing that no one can ever take away from you. And so I've never forgotten that because I think it's important for people to remember to take advantage of education when you can because of that. So I have always enjoyed education and learning and college was um, a great experience. And a couple of years after college, I had been working kind of in sustainability and I felt like I wanted a hands-on skill. So I decided to go back to school to learn how to install solar. And I ended up finding a school in northern New Mexico that did a one-year certificate. So I went there and traveled uh, to and from Durango, Colorado for that program. Went with 14 other guys who most of whom had previous trades experience, which made it a little bit more challenging for me because I did not. And I did my best and I wanted to start an all women's solar company at the time. And I, I realized pretty quickly that that was not a realistic goal uh, right after the program. And in fact, it was even hard to get a job as an installer when I left in rural Colorado. And so I ended up doing more sort of nonprofit and policy work. And then kind of giving up on solar and moving back east and getting back into food system sustainability and farming for about a decade before I then returned again to Durango and Colorado in 2018. Got back into solar, worked for some small companies, including a nonprofit installation organization. Got the opportunity to learn sort of a lot of the different parts of how you run a solar company, including the installation side. Then went and worked for a master electrician who started his own company and was doing house wiring and solar. Was able to get my apprenticeship hours um, underway in the state so I could count them towards an electrical license. And then uh, realized I really wanted to work at a, a kind of a little bit bigger of a company so I could just be installing full time and really focus on that skill set while continuing to get apprenticeship hours. So I moved to Boulder two years ago and uh, got a job at Namaste Solar Electric and. In those two years, I've learned a ton. I have gotten my residential electrical license and am a co-crew lead there. So I think for me, this combination of sort of formal educational opportunities and training combined with on-the-job training really is what has worked. The recipe of how exactly that comes together can be different for different people. But for me, I think I did need both of those things. And it's really helped me build my confidence to be out there in the field and learning from from folks that are patient and understanding as you're new to it. Um, Namaste has been great for that. And then I've also had the chance to go to SCI and take a women's lab class where I was learning alongside other women and non-binary folks and learning from female teachers. And that was a really inspiring and special experience because it's so rare to have that experience as a woman in the technical trades. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I also took an online heat spring class with Sean White to prepare me for NABSIP a couple of years ago, which definitely helped me pass the certification exam. So I now have NABSIP and my electrical license, and I'm feeling really good about where I'm at in solar, you know, because of all of these awesome experiences I've gotten the chance to have. And now I've also started Solar for Women to help connect more women in the trades and hope to one day offer trainings myself. So I hope everybody stays curious about their own educational journey.